about time I make a new tripod. Uh, I made this one out of some old uh, magnolia trees that were killed during that 2011 drought. It worked out really well because they had all the branches growing out of them in all the right spots, it seemed like. I had a good place to tie my line off and everything, but they're, they're getting pretty weak. Uh, just about rot. So my brother brought me some bamboo, and uh, I'm going to use that. Make me a new tripod. <clears throat> I'd say that's about eight and a half feet. Make them a little bit longer. On the uh, tips, I cut it right on a joint. So that way the rain wouldn't collect inside, you know, inside the hollow cup-like end of it. <clears throat> Let me cut another couple poles and uh, get it put together. Well, that'll be my closest joint right here, so that's what I'm going to cut it down to. You know what? I'm going to go a little bit longer, and I'll use this piece for my uh, my string that's slide through that holds my grill. On the end of this, I got a small hole. I'm gonna I'm gonna round it off so that it won't hold any water. Maybe that'll uh, maybe that'll help keep it from rotting out too fast. And this knife is a uh, martini. It's really sharp. I mean, it'll, it'll take the hair right off. It's gonna make a liar out of me. There we go. Well, it's not as sharp as it was when I got it. Still shaves a little bit. But anyways, it's got a uh, finely polished edge. I need to uh, rework it. I don't like a finely polished edge because they don't, they don't seem to cut into stuff as well. All right, I got that smooth on top, and that won't that won't hold any water. Hopefully, it'll last me a little bit longer without rotting out. I'm gonna keep these uh, where these little growths are coming out. I'm gonna keep those on here and uh, use it to hang my uh, utensils, my tong, fork, spatula, whatever. And also, maybe I'll be able to use one of them as a tile point.
All right, let me cut one more and uh, get it put together. My poles are all cut to length. They might not be the same length, but uh, that's where I want them. I wanted to make sure and cut the ends of each piece of bamboo on a joint so it wouldn't fill up the water. Maybe it'll not rot out so fast. Uh, I'm going to start by putting a clove hitch on the first one. Clove hitch is really simple to tie. You go around, come, and then you go over it. It makes this little loop right here on the bottom. And you're going to stick your loose end through that loop. There's your clove hitch. That'll be the start of our lashing. And to lash it, I'm just going to go under, over, under, over. I forgot to mention I'm using a piece of uh, tarred twine for this, otherwise known as bank line. I just preferred to call it tarred twine because a bank line is uh, that's something you stand in and get a tech cast. And tarred twine is the stuff you buy at the sporting goods store. It's nylon and it's been soaked in tar. <laughs> That should be good on that. I'm going to put a couple of uh, fraps on it. So I'm just going to go through, come up and over. Do that a couple times on each one. Uh oh, here comes the rain. Well, here comes the rain. Let me get set All back up. All right, I'm up. set back up. I noticed a, a while ago I was trying to hurry up and get this done before I got wet. And uh, I got a string wire. I don't need it, so I got to go back and pull that out. There we go. Luckily, it wasn't too far in there. That should work on the lashing. I'm going to finish it off with another clove hitch. On this, it's easier just to just tie the clove hitch and then uh, pull everything tight. There's my clove hitch. I'm just going to pull uh, all my strings back until I can get everything pulled tight. That'll work. The lashing. And I can get the poles spread out wherever I need them. And uh, it looks like I might have to wait a little while because the rain's getting pretty hard before I finish it up. I know it's off subject, but that is one crazy looking caterpillar. And I don't want to move. <laughs> I've never seen one like that. Since I'm making a new tripod, I guess I might as well make a new hook. Uh, if you watch Dave Canterbury, you know he's real big on uh, making toggles to hold your pots and everything. But I say, why not make a hook? I mean, it's just it's simple. It works so much better than using a toggle. And if you got a hot handle or whatever you need to get off the fire, you can just lift it right straight off it. You can lift it right straight up off the hook. I cut the, uh, the top out of a small maple tree and that's why I'm going to make my new hook with. You 
come down, you don't want to cut it right below the crotch. You want to come, come down just a little bit and you leave a little bit of, little, uh, bit of wood there. I'm going to round that all. I don't know if I got you in the shot or not. I'm still learning. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be the part I'm going to attach my string to. This will be my hook. I'm gonna leave this long. That way, it'll keep the string a little bit further away from the heat. If the fire should flame up too much, I don't have to worry about melting my string and uh, losing whatever whatever I have suspended. And right here, this will be my hook. Yeah, there's a hook. Simple and easy. Uh, I'll just reuse this whole string. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Give me a minute. Let me get it untied from this old setup. All right, to tie on my new hook, I'm gonna start out just like with a lashing. I'm gonna tie a clove hitch. And I'm gonna follow that with a bunch of half hitches. I gotta do to tie a half hitch. Turn around, make a loop, and slide it over your stick. Do that about five times, and shouldn't have to worry about that coming off. There you go. That won't come off. On the other end of it, I had just a, a I guess it's about a three quarter, one ounce fishing weight. I had tied it in just to keep the end of it from, uh, just to give it a little bit of tension so it won't go slack. I'm just going to tie that on with a little bowling knot. Tripod and shot out. Uh, this tripod is quite a bit taller than my last one. I decided to leave it like that so when I uh, spin my grill over the fire, I got a lot more string and it'll should stand for quite a bit longer. <clears throat> All right, I can hang my grill on the hook and adjust it wherever I need it. And I can tie it off from these little branches right here. I left these little limbs on here so I have a place to hang my utensils and that'll work out pretty good. Well, that does it for my new tripod. Uh, hopefully, it'll last me for a couple of years. I appreciate y'all watching.